Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Free Runner, and this is an 87 gun streak with a PP90, and this is a perfect gameplay for today's commentary. Um, a lot of you guys requested like a mob tutorial, uh, tips and tricks video, how do I get better in, in it, Call of Duty, and all that type of stuff. So, um, first of all, the main tip: how to get better in uh, Call of Duty and in pretty much any other game and any other skill in life is to do it a lot, play it a lot, like spend as much time as you can on it because that's how you develop a skill you just um, put your time in it and you're gonna get better so um but now i'm gonna give you a lot of tips and tricks that are gonna like improve your gameplay hopefully so um first of all we're gonna start off with aiming and your sensitivity and all that type of stuff a lot of you asked me about it and i think it's kind of complicated to actually like um i don't know i we'll see how this goes so I first wanted to make a separate commentary just for the sensitivity, just because there's so many things to talk about, but um, first of all, on PC, um, you want to set your sensitivity really low, like pretty much the lowest as you can, like still, uh, you still have to be able to do about a 360 uh, and not run out of your mouse pad or so, so you want to use pretty much low, lowest sensitivity, and when I st first pl uh, started playing um, Counter-Strike on PC, I, I was thinking um, the higher sensitivity, the faster you're going to be able to move, so I want to use high sensitivity. But that is not true. On PC especially, it's not true. Um, you want to use low sensitivity, and you can still move the mouse as fast as you can, and you'll still be able to turn really fast and do those 1 millisecond 180s. And it, it just comes to your um, skill level, and I actually think there's like a... Um, I actually heard this from Incredible Orb. Um, um, you basically have your muscle memory, so um, the longer you play with your sensitivity, the better you are going to be. And you just uh, like learn how to uh, um, 180 in like millis one millisecond, you're going to do a perfect one. And just because you did it so many times, you're, you're going to just come like a r routine, you know. So um, when it comes to sensitivity on PC, try using the lowest one possible that you can still be comfortable with. Um, I personally use two in Black Ops. In Black Ops 2, I have. Um, two uh, in game and uh, a thousand dpi and in, in mono 3 and all those games i have 1.3 which is basically the same it's just different scaling in black ops so <clears throat> you want to find what's um, good enough for you and want to stick to the same sensitivity for a long time you don't want to switch it at all switching your sensitivity is probably going to mess up your aim and it takes about a month to get um, the muscle memory and all that like to function properly <clears throat> and i have something stuck in my throat again so that's pretty much about the sensitivity. I want I don't want to waste the entire video on it because it is really com um, complicated. On on uh, on consoles, you would pretty much want to use something around maybe four or five. I don't know something that's not too fast but not like really slow because it, then it's gonna limit your movement um, and your your reactions. So um, then the next big thing is your movement. Um, movement is like I don't, I'm not saying map maneuvering and all that, but movement like moving your character. Um, <clears throat> how you react when someone shoots you and all that type of stuff it's really important so first of all when someone is shooting you you don't want to stay still a lot of people do that you don't want to stay still um, you don't want to keep moving in the same direction maybe you do if you can heal fast enough but if there's a couple of guys you have to do something you you can't just walk you can't just stand still they're gonna kill you so uh, the main, uh, the one thing I really recommend is jump shot. Um, you can just jump, and you have to time that jump. You can just, you can't just jump whenever, um, because that doesn't really do anything. You have to time it, but that's so something that just comes na comes natural after doing it for a while. So one thing I don't recommend is drop shots. Drop shotting doesn't really help you that much. I feel really uh, vulnerable when I'm like drop shotting because. I'm kind of stuck there on the ground, uh, my head is really exposed and I just don't like it. So when there's one guy, you might drop shot, but um, as soon as there's like m more than one guy, you definitely want to like jump shot into drop shot or something like that, and it's going to work, work out a lot better. So, um, also, let's see what else do we have about movement. Um, yeah, so when there's multiple enemies shooting at you, what you can do is tuck your head down. Like, you don't want to crouch, you just want to look straight down in the ground. And you're actually gonna look like you're cr like you're crouching. Your head is gonna be all the way down. You can test it out with your body, like just in a private match. Just let them like look right at the ground, and you'll see you you're completely like covered. Your head is covered. So when you're running away or when you're running in like a um, sniper area or something that is not really like safe, you just wanna tuck your head all the way down. It helps you a lot. Um, you're a lot smaller target. It's a lot harder to hit your chest or your head. So 
definitely want to do that. I learned that in Call of Duty 4 Pro Mod. So, um, yeah, so just work something out when it comes to movement. Um, you don't want to stay still when someone's shooting at you. Just move as much as you can. Just jump, drop shots, whatever. So, um, then the next thing is spawn control, um, meta awareness and all that. So, um, when it comes to spawn control, you don't want to um, spawn trap your enemy um, because that's just what scumbags do and you don't really want to do that, you don't have to do that. So, um, only when you really need to spawn trap is when you're going for like quad mods um, and you're definitely not going for a quad mob if you're watching a tips and tricks video. So, it doesn't really matter. So, if you want to just go for single mods, you definitely don't want to spawn trap. So, um, but you, what you actually have to do is spawn farm and that's a different thing. So. You basically want to get as you know, a couple of kills, maybe five kills uh, from one spot. Like you get a head glitch near to the, near their spawn, you get a couple of kills, and then immediately like run away, move to a different spot. Because first of all, um, again, camping as in next to spawn is pretty much same as spawn trapping, and it's a scumbag move. You don't, don't want to do that. So what you want to do is like stay, like let's say, um, actually just just get a couple of kills and then move. Um, and also it's gonna help you. Because um, if you stand in the same spot, they're gonna respawn and come right back at you, and you're gonna get killed probably. So, get a couple of kills and then move somewhere like on a completely, completely different spot, and it's gonna help you stay alive, and it's gonna help you build up your streak a lot faster. You, you always, always wanna be really near enemy spawn, but not going into their, their spawn because that's just crazy, and it's gonna flip it. So, you don't wanna flip the spawn too much. Um, if you flip the spawn too, too often. It's just gonna be crazy. They're gonna be spawning all over the place, and you're most likely to get shot in the back. And that's something I really hate my teammates um, for doing. When my teammates start flipping spawns every every couple of seconds, I keep raging. I keep shouting at them. Um, they just can't hold spawns. It's really important to hold spawns, but not flip them like, um, but not spawn trap because that's not really interesting. Even for a gameplay, it's boring to watch someone can spawn. So. Um, next thing uh, is the right class setup, and you want to set up your class in Man of 3 is not really that important because um, you're probably going to be using specialist anyways, but um, it's going to help you get on specialist a lot faster. So, um, what I can recommend you is to use scavenger all the time as your first perk, it's going to give you extra ammo, and you're probably not going to have to reload um, until you get a first kill. So, when you get that first kill, you want to have sleight of hand to reload. And you just basically put sleight of hand as your first perk in your specialist um, setup. If you're using a shotgun, you don't need the sleight of hand in the first one. You can maybe put it in the second or third, or not, maybe not even put it at all. Like if you're using a spaz, you definitely don't need sleight of hand at all unless you until you get on a pretty much good streak. So you might might not even have to use it. So um, make sure to manage your class not, um, and adjust it. So if you're using a sniper or a scoped assault rifle or a light machine gun. Definitely use quick draw and um, yeah. So also in, in specialist, make sure to have like you can see right now. This is probably my best specialist setup. Um, I have sleight of hand, then steady aim, and then blast shield. And blast shield also helps helps a lot. Um, you don't want to get stunned and then killed. It's kind of annoying. So you want to have um, like a good perk setup is gonna help you, but it's not really that important. Um, so next thing is sound and pre-firing and that type of stuff. So you always wanna. I should have probably talked about this a bit earlier. So um, it comes to map and map awareness. So sound can help you a lot. If you know where an enemy is before he sees you and before you even see him, that's gonna help you a lot and help you help you win the gunfight. So you wanna pre-fire as you wanna pre-fire as much as possible. Um, when you see someone, when you hear someone coming, you wanna kind of aim right at the spot where he's coming from and. Um, judge by your sound and just start shooting um, at the moment you think he's gonna come come around you don't want to start shooting way too early because then he's probably not gonna run into your bullet he's just gonna stop or if you have a um, if you don't have a silencer then pre-firing is a bit harder you wanna like jump um, jump out of your cover and then just shoot at him because you don't want to scare him off so um, you don't want to give you away your position uh, while pre-firing and a lot of people do that they actually Start shooting randomly at the spot where you're gonna come from, and you have enough time to react and just stop and just do not go there. So um, you wanna like make sure how to pre-fire, but it's really helpful, and you wanna do it as much as possible. That's <laughs> I always get called a cheater when I pre-fire, and you also you don't need Astro A40 headset or any other like surround sound amazing headset. I have a stereo sound headset, and I'm still pretty 
pretty much able to sound for just because um, that's how your ears work if, if you don't trust me you can just look up um, virtual barbershop on YouTube I'm probably gonna have the link in the description and my dog is going off right now I really hate when that happens so um, just look up virtual barbershop you, you're gonna see that it's not really important to have a 5.1 5 or 7.1 surround sound headset so um, after you get like it's gonna take take some time to get used to like sound pouring and all that stuff but uh, once you get used to it it's gonna really help you out a lot um, also a lot of people um, get nervous when they're going for mobs and that's pretty much like what happened to me as well but after like 10 mobs you kind of lose that feeling so uh, you don't want to get nervous you want to at least like try breathing try s slow yourself down and then I get killed which is kind of unfortunate but um, you want to take your time when you're going for mobs I think I'm running out of time now so um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna probably make another video and sorry if my voice is a bit different and all that. I'm trying not to focus too much on the commentary but uh, focus on the things that I actually say and give you as many as much information as I can. So uh, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you did, please leave a like and I'll see you guys next time.